Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. There was another quest around the tennis camp after I completed the one from the Falcon. So I'm gonna continue that. I'm gonna wait a few more days before starting the current event. Time to go. Hmm, check the same. Nothing about that guy. Ah, Master of the Genie, you are here. I'm just so happy to have a task for you, an urgent one. Slow down, are you listening? Yeah, slow down, we'll help you once you tell us what's happening. A shipment, a shipment, shipment of goods has gone missing. I lost three shipments of goods. No, just one shipment. I contracted an outside party to ship us some an Ahitian blessing, what's that? But a long time has passed and it's still not here. It might be the doing of those northerners. Might be retaliation because Babo is always searching them for traitors. Ever since the in Azarik left, the northerners have been much more active. Uh, shouldn't they be even less active? Or weren't they? Dealing with any outsiders. Alright, I am done with Dali. The caravan delivering the Anahitian blessings, less known location, is in this region, according to our scouts. I hope you can help me find the goods, or at least find any clues as to what happened to the caravan. Sure, I'll give you a hint. A caravan can just disappear on its own, right? Well, it's the desert. I suppose it can. Sounds like they got robbed by some bandits. Thank you. I a thousand thanks. Please accept this meat as gratitude for your service. Well, thanks. You're too kind. Mm. Oh, thank you. Okay. I got I got a bit. Time to go. Everything is the last. Let's have a look around me. Carol left some clues. Wind strider! Uh, I cracked empty jar lay there. Not a not yet solid by the saints. Looks like it was from a side a long ago. Look, the jar is still poking out of the sand. Well, I just broke it. Uh, the goods let's get it along the trail. Let's see what we can find along this trail. Yeah, they might have left some other stuff behind them. Let's keep going. Uh. <laughs> An empty broken box lay abandoned, toppled over by the roadside. Mm, this box must be from the caravan. Look, it even has the tribe's symbol on it. Ah, I guess here, maybe. 
not the one I'm looking. Uh, won't they won't be hard to ambush someone here. Yeah, this place looks dangerous. It looks like they stole even the largest of the goods. They moved all the valuables, but left the containers. Uh, I would guess they might have a lot of people, but don't seem to have the tools to move the crates. Or perhaps this is a trap? A trap for me? Do you mean they left these empty boxes on purpose to lure people to them? To lure us? Uh, if I was getting goosebumps, then do we really need to keep going? If you're scared, you can always turn and head back. The man is my student nearby. What? Paimon is not scared. Um, besides, you can't just leave Paimon. Wow. Uh, there are monsters there, no? The creatures. Oh, come on, guys. Must be those creatures. Let's find out the hitters if there's anything left. Time to go. The night is cold. Wind strike. Cascade. We got away, let's see what left. They got away? No, we just slaughtered them. Uh, there's nothing not working over here. Hmm, they left absolutely nothing intact. Oh, Pamela's getting mad. These healers really know how to break stuff. It doesn't look like he was destroyed by healers. Wait, the raid might not have happened here. Uh, but the healers have their camp here, don't they? I don't see any carts around us. Mm, look, no cart in the camp either. Yeah, if the healers raided a caravan, they would have taken the carts apart of the spot. But we're not seeing any carts or any parts. I don't think that's kind of weird. Let's follow the road a little longer. Alright, but if it is wasn't the Hiltros, then who? Okay, but they just passed through the Hiltro camp without being attacked or dealing with the Hiltros. that is still in good condition. The seam of the tent tribe is stitched into it, while ominous blushes dot its surface. The rug, how strange. Well, that rug looks expensive, but why did it just get left here? Maybe there was a struggle or a fight over it. Uh, yeah, but I don't think she can see that happening. The caravan and the robbers had a fight here. Some goods got damaged during the battle, while other perfectly fine ones were left aside in the ensuing chaos. We are still Paimon. And Paimon is the best. And then, the caravan and the robbers fought while running all along the way. Fighting and running and fighting. That's why all these boxes and jars are scattered everywhere. Mm, Paimon thinks that's a good deduction. Doesn't make any sense. Um, the treasure goods should have been discarded after the bands got to them. The things they left behind were to ensure they moved fast and light. Really? Because we didn't see any signs of a struggle along the way. Everything always looks the same. So that's how it was. Still, Pablo's theory was close, like 90% accurate. Close. Mm, Pablo can't help feeling something's wrong. Well, what? Time for a 
Why would you use your intuition? Don't you think these clues are too neatly laid out? It's like they were placed in a line to lead us over somewhere. You might be a bit too suspicious. Possibly, but we don't have enough evidence for that. Hey look, the card's right there. Oh. Um, I can barely recognize it. So, the tent mark is there. Yeah, it looks a bit blurry. Alright, we can close this case now. It's elementary. What happened was that the caravan was ambushed and the goods were all stolen. Let's head back to youth and tell them what the hell him what happened. Alright, let's head back. Shouldn't I try to find the goods that were taken away? Pardon me, but I beg you both to steal your stride. Uh, who are you? We are friends of Jets. You have been working hard. Hmm. No, our uh, friends are our friends. We were just finishing up. Let's head back together. Uh, no need to be so hasty. And uh, guests shouldn't be so hairy to depart. Come on, there's something wrong right with them. Jet requested that you stay in the desert for a time. She convinced us to come here and give you the hospitality you deserve. It'll be cruel for you to disappoint her kindness. Height. All right. Wind strike. Okay, now I don't need order. Guide you. Solidify. Be still. Wow, that was close. Luckily, we are good at fighting. Uh, took it down in no time, flat. Thanks for your hospitality. Why is it that every bad guy wants to mess with us? Is it because we look soft? <laughs> they claim to be sent by Jet. Do you believe them? I don't think Jet was the reason to do this. Has the reason to do this. But she might be wrapped up in something big. Yeah, Paimon doesn't think Jet would do this either. But what should we do now? The people who just ambushed us knew Jet. Which means that they must know people amongst the Tenage as well. You mean that if we return to the tribe, we'll catch their attention? Paimon doesn't think they'll just let this go. And Jet, Pamela's not suspecting her, but the people who tried to kill us might be hiding within the tribe. Maybe we should leave for a while. If we leave, Jet might be in danger. Yeah, we can just leave her. Let's go back first, but don't mention Jet. Um, but... Uh, Pamela's not scared. If it's if inside, then that's how we do it. Alright. Jets to over there. She's not there. What about the Ah, yeah. oh, Bebe is here. Ah, oh, let's see me chat Time to go. or something. You're back. What? Something strange about us coming back? No, no, no. I'm very pleased that you have returned. Steam Master of the Genie. Uh, that being Master of the Genie is probably why they are hunting me now. 
Uh, right, uh, about the caravan, how did your investigation go? The caravan got ambushed, the goods have been taken. Curses. It's those traitors again, I just know it. Traitors. Uh, those traitors, those northern are colluding dogs. Well, the daughters aren't traitors, they are enemies from the get go. Traitors would be people from the tribe that turned on you. Aside from this, what else have you uncovered? We were ambushed by the Aramites. Well, aren't they Aramites as well? Now, just as we finish investigation, what happened to the caravan? The Aramites showed up to ambush us. They also said that they knew us. Right, that too. Mm. If that's the case, then they might be onto you as well. Uh, here's a payment. Please go see my first member about this matter as soon as possible. Right? Farewell, Steam Master of the Genie. So it's extremely urgent. Please go in front of the Montreal. Hey, what's going on here? Ah, there, there are guys stringing here. I never noticed. Greetings, Steam Master of the Genie. Is there something you need? If this caravan got raided by some of your traitors. Truly? Well, it's not unexpected. The Northerners from the Snowlands have long tried to push into our lands. The treacherous among us. Our number fell prey to their words and turned against us. These traitors have been causing havoc and for quite some time. Sporadic but persistent raids and robberies have been happening since a few months ago. Oh, apologies, I didn't mean to interrupt. Please continue. The traitors have also taken an interest in us. Well, everybody always takes an interest, so. Uh, yeah, just as we finished investigating the caravan, thugs from the air mites ambushed us. Is that the case? How viable? It appears that with Adarfi and Azarik both gone, these wild dogs see this as high time to bare their teeth. How about this? Please wait here and rest. I will handle all matters regarding your safety. What? She's gonna calm the desert? Jet's still outside fulfilling her duties to the tribe. I'll have her work alongside you to get to the bottom of this matter. And before that, I will do my utmost to find the assassins who saw you dead. I ask for only patience return. Uh, one more thing, uh, the bad guys Chapman seem to know us. They might be from the tribe. It's not impossible, but... It matters little. With your privileges as steam guests, you will be protected. So long as you stay here, no one can hurt you. If any one of the tenants seeks to, to trouble you, whoever they are, they will face judgment at my hands, under my authority as my church. Please rest, I will pursue the matter of the traitors to the fullest of my ability. Additionally, I will keep a watch for Jet on your behalf. I will notify you the moment she returns. Alright, thanks a lot, my trash babble. Uh, the courtesy is on me. Thanks. Oh. Stay in night. Leave it around, and I know just theme master of the genie. There is an urgent matter that I need to inform you of. I was so shocked when I first heard about it. Oh, where should I begin? Uh, what is this? Oh, come on, they didn't kill another NPC. Uh, Jet, she, I hate to say it, but she could very well be a traitor to the tribe. Uh, do you have any proof? Sometime earlier, we caught a northerner who knew Jet. He told us that 
Jesh had revealed to them the location of our outposts. You have water outposts. Uh, and where's this daughter? If all of our outposts are exposed, the actions of the entire Tanis tribe in the desert will be utterly restrained. What's more, according to him, Jesh has already sent out several batches of assassins. Her very target being you, who po possess the genie. Uh, isn't that? Uh, if this, if his confession is true, Jet should be active in their camp. And according to our recent reports, the Northerners are indeed closing in on our tribe. They have bypassed our sentries and set up camps at a dangerously close distance. Those are signs, not proof. Uh, in the desert, no one should take any on your side likely. Uh, the excessive speculation of Jeff is a traitor is just the worst inference I have made based on the existing signs. Plus, she hasn't been back for a long time. I'm really worried about her. Please forgive me for making such a speculation, but I genuinely think of her as my own daughter. No matter what she might become, it is the consequence of my own mistake. Therefore, esteemed master of the genie, I beg you, regardless of the path she has chosen, bring her back to me. Whether she lives to prove her innocence or has paid for her missteps. Uh, tell me where she may be. So, she just really betrayed us. No, I don't think she will leave Bambi behind. I'll mark the location of the Northern's forward operation base operation base on your map. Just keep looking in this direction and you won't miss it. I will find her, figure everything out and bring her back. Did you guys just get kidnapped and interrogated a Northerner? Why do I have to go there alone? Uh, sorry it has it all happened so suddenly it's hard even for me to accept such a twist. Please bring her back to me and let me talk to her, will you? Don't worry, we will. No, who really cares for Jet? Oh, it's right here. Uh, no, I have a. Yeah. Well, it should be a little further. Uh, I'm supposed to follow that too. Ah, I'm missing the cane. It's right ahead. Time to go. Let's go first. Time to work. <laughs> Wind strike! Claw tie! Don't be scared! Kill joy! We don't get to that hard work! This is order! Looks like I went too far! Uh, uh, internal withdrawal document. Our negotiations with the Tanis tribes people have been completed. We have made some gains, especially with regard to the tribes people of the desert campaign, who are willing to hire a young woman over to us for experimentation. This alone may be considered sufficient progress. Our other objective, however, cannot be achieved through dealing with this tribe. So we shall cease negotiate negotiations at this time and perform several internal personal transfers. Secrets must be maintained at all times. We cannot risk raising unnecessary commotion. The codes should be used to confirm the identity of the units and personnel being transferred are as follows. Remember them well so as to avoid any infiltration on the part of the tribe's people. The codes below have been blurred by water. Uh, only some incomplete words remain. I scream, Igor, L, 
Voltrex, Gerardo, Ravioli. Uh, Gerardo and Ravioli, they mix passwords from different times. Which one's the real password? Guess I have to try them one by one. Yeah, but one has no better idea. And it looks like they've moved the location of their main camp. Uh, this map looks way too ugly. Paimon can only roughly make out the direction they went. Well, let's catch up in the direction they left, shall we? What, there's a map? Up here. Boxes were the same, the most was in the words in the past. Empty wooden box, which has not been buried by the saints yet. Obviously, it was just recently abandoned, and the owner should not have gone far. Apparently, this our military asset belongs to the Fatui skinships. It is unclear how they end up here. They've already filled the saint. Wearing this now must be extra terminating. Okay. Huh? Son attack. Campfire. There's a campfire. An open matchbox with the Fatuous Delusion logo printed on it. Is uh, matchsticks are scattered around it, not yet buried by the saints. One cannot help but wonder why the Fatuous Scheme Shoes would use this battle to start fire when they could simply drive elements. Doesn't depend which element they actually have. These are those playing five more. Now oh, those guys. Who are you? Best search. Best um, What was the one we found again? Uh, look, just found a boot of yours. Yeah, that one. Oh, I see. Thanks, Elusha. Elusha. Yes, you've crashed. Uh, I heard hear you. What's wrong this time? Is your recycle is it your recycling device? I'm not a mechanic, you know. I have my own tasks to work on. What's a recycling device? It's well, special equipment of the desert expedition team. Uh, think of it as a water purification device that can convert the water excreted by the human body into drinking water. Uh, this way, we can we can not only save time looking for toilets everywhere, but also produce enough drinking water for ourselves, which is rather really important in the desert, don't you think? So you're saying, ew. Fascinating. Uh, that's enough. Is this but yours? I don't think so. It doesn't smell like mine. Smell. I never wash my feet. Oh, stay away from me. Alright, it's not yours. Anything else? Uh, no, let's fight. Uh, no thanks anyway. After I bury you, I'll ask who's put this for you. Okay, I thought I didn't have to like to it or something. Stabilize! Falling leaves. Adorn my cascade. This isn't good. Oh, person for three. In my head. Ah, uh, nice. Ah. Uh, is there nothing here for me to? No. Oh, uh, are you part? Of, are you? Passwords? Come on, aren't I supposed to give you a password or something? I'll put you on my knees. 
crumble. Order guide you. Not now. Oh, mine to command. Kamisato up. Sui you. Gather. As one with wind and cloud. This is well tempered. Solidify. I will have order. Be still. My guiding stars. Time yeah. to go. Okay, this guy wants a bark bit. Wind strider. Stop, please stop hitting me. I'll give you whatever you want. Uh, these are all daily supplies for camping. Looks like they were taken from a nearby tribe. I'm gonna see no other clue. And let's ask this guy. Wait, what do you want to know? I'm not telling you anything. I don't know anything. If you just said name, tell us your name. What? She's Spymo? Yeah, I'm your worst nightmare. What about you? What? Can you understand me, yes or no? Yes. Very well, your name, tell me. Orest. Private Orest Shnesevich. I really don't know anything. I just joined the Desert Expedition team and I haven't even familiarized myself with the organization of our forces. You literally can't get anything out of me. We haven't asked you anything. Jack, does his name ring any bells? No. Liar, tell me if you know. Or you can be like your colleagues. Did we kill them? It means that if you tell us, we'll let you go. Wait, wait. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. I, I'll tell you everything I know, but that's all I know. Uh, that girl named Jet, she's a monster. Hmm. They were going to bring her back in a cage, but she woke up and tore the cage apart, and then the guy staying close to her. <laughs> oh, my poor Joffrey. What happened? He he changed. He became like a physical confetti. Huh? You know, uh, sometimes bits of confetti would fly into your mouth and you just try to spit them out, right? But... Well, when we realized something was wrong, we realized that those were confetti. It was Joffrey. Stop, stop. Paimon's thing is sick. What happened to her? What happened later? It wasn't... I wasn't sure. It was... All messed up. Thanks to our medic, Lieutenant Muldon, who acted fast and saved us all. Shoot her, shoot her. Uh, pull out your, your guns, yell like that. And we fire at her with all the electro bullets. Electro bullets? That guy's... No, there are nobody with electro bullets. We... What about the electro bullets we had? That were supposed to paralyze our prey. What? With guns and bullets? She could die. Someone already died. One of our people. Anyway, long story short, she's alive and asleep. She fell into a deep slumber this time. But the thought of her waking up and going <laughs> into a rage again, I can't help but... Uh, is Jack really that scary? Uh, she's not a girl, she's a monster. A real monster. I get it. Uh, no, you don't get it. How could you possibly get it? You, you know, I came to the desert to do this business. I can earn a lot of Mora, a lot of tax-free Mora every day. Uh, I get to support my family. I mean, I can afford to send my sister to go to school and steam one. So that she won't be sent to the house of the hearth like me. But, well, oh, 
Well, I'm not saying that the house of Earth is terrible or anything, but I want her to have a brighter future. No, she's an orphan too, just like me. She wanted to learn the violin or something. I don't really get those rich people stuff. Anyway, I was ignorant and naive back then. All I knew was that when I grew up and enjoyed the Fatui, I would be able to make her wish come true. Sorry, my apologies. I must have talked too much. I wasn't trying to win your sympathy or anything. I just wanted to say that I did not join the Fatui just to suffer like this. Wow, it's just so scary when she gets angry. We've seen her angry. Uh, tell me where she is and you can go home. Uh, thanks, I'll mark the location on your map. See this camp? It's the transfer station where we transported her. Even if she's not there, you should be able to find the next location. If possible, when you arrive at this camp, can you warn my colleagues and officers for me? Uh, just let them get rid of that nightmare as soon as possible. Our mission has already failed and there can be no results. What about you? Aren't you going back? No, as long as they insist on capturing her alive, I dare not go back. We are better at beating people than passing no messages. Uh, we make sure everyone is well persuaded. No, the first one. Uh, thanks. If that's all, I'll be leaving now. You can go now. Don't go back to the camp or we'll beat you again. <laughs> Alright, slipped away and slowly figure quickly fading into the desert. Alright, you should leave as well. The next camp isn't too far away. Stabilize. Don't be scared. Mind the damage. Oh. This is order. That bone spreads, no good shape. Let's begin with identification. That was too much text. Time to go. One letter in the horns. No wind strike. Fallen leaves. Adorn my. Gather. Cold. Mine's a command. The night is cold. Order guide you. Oh, I hear it. As one with wind and cloud. My guiding stars! Don't be scared! Okay, so here she goes with transport again. Here. Oh, there. Mm, two lieutenants, Ruslan, Snedhevich. This is not the same guy. Name of the other guy. Make arrangements for our Sumter Beast train according to orders. The sport intelligence we finished organizing to the previous day in the desert. The research materials and other items in waves to the southern harbor. And hand them over to our contact within 15 days. This information must not be leaked. Go make a click shots. Go make a coffee. Little nest for my Gerardo in the highest priority Sumter Beast train without delay. Uh, make sure you also prep some canned food and water. Anyway, Russia, I apply for high water privileges for you, so don't let me catch you in stinking when you come and find me again. The uh, Fatima Desert Expedition Investigation Team Security Overseer Captain Zoya. Sh that, that's probably not how it's said. There's nothing about jets. Let's keep a look and see if there's any other files in the camp. Uh, 
I'm not ready with a test on experimental subject. To my teacher, for the rock from Constein. Uh, in summary, for the tenant tribe is willing to negotiate with us and we will lure a traitor to the tribe into a prearranged ambush. Me? Chat. Such that we may capture them. I recommend that we can perform that we perform careful examinations on any experimental subjects we may obtain. Just in case they try to pull some dirty tricks. Captain Zoya is very displeased with this deal. She notes that not only have we been constrained at every turn by the desert desert woman, but we have now been relegated to the role of servants, helping the desert folk to clean up their internal messes, uh, even at the cost of ourselves. In such, I must say that this does indeed impugn upon our honor as Fatui. The above is enclosed for your reference, such that you may have the firmest grasp as possible of the situation. Vice Expedition Commander Lieutenant Ruslan Schnehevich. Enclosed below is a table of records that show multi factor physical inspection of a tennis tribe's woman named Chet. It seems that the examiner evaluates her physical state rather highly. Most excellent. To be honest, Ruth's experience had me worried that the desert folk might just give us some infirm wretch from their number and call it generosity. But no, this subject's health is well beyond expectations and does indeed have a fair amount of value. I urge you to consider, Captain Zoyan, that if we are able to complete this research work in the desert, perhaps our entire expedition force may receive the favor of our great harbinger. This line has been crossed out using red pen, and the line in red has been added. How about you consider military regulations? Or perhaps would you like to consider how long you have left to leave? Um, you must complete your, our transfer to an um, exfiltration point and close the deal post haste. Wait for the arrival of the transfer notification to be advised on follow up actions. Um, there is another document mentioned here. I don't search that one too. That. Transfer notification. The preliminary test on experimental subjects indicates that we have obtained a rather satisfactory active item. Uh, initiate the transfer of the homebound item we obtained from the deal with the tennis tribe right after dawn. Follow the exfiltration crew to the valley shore. The subject is emotionally agitated and physically strong. Be sure to apply the specialized sedative formulation if signs of imminent awakening are detected. Transfer code Red Ball Express. Act with prudence in all things. That's how it is. They're taking Jeff to the canyon. Everything is a canyon around here. Uh, it seems that someone in in the tribe is working with the Fatui. That's why Jet. Uh, who could it be? Maybe the same person who framed Jet for her rebellion. Then we better find Jet first and fast. She is still in great danger, and now the tennis tribes no longer a safe place either. Let's hurry. Uh, if I'm next to a teleport. I'm going back to check the tribe. Yeah. It's no longer a safe place, so let's check it. Ah, oh, she's in here. Following those guys. Ah, oh, this guy's still here. Follow the wind. There's some gas. Is there anything you need today? I heard you are bunch. I need to get speak. Uh. Oh, I can play cards with this guy. I haven't yet. Oh, there's one over there. Oh, 
Time to go. So do it, but it looks like things just get around space, so let's move four. Scatter mass footprints, both deep and shallow, mark the area, send the person coming across, or mass footprints, so it's terrifying, let's just get going. Smash phrase, trace suggest there was something something that was alive, whatever it was not free. Uh smell, this isn't good. Oh, I should die. Oh, what is I have my issue justification. Uh, this stuff canvas was being part of the toy banner thing. It's like a clone. That's fine. Well, Oh, I passed. Is it back there? She is a cellular source. Oh, it was there. Okay. Time to go. Come on, don't you have to go through all this trouble to kidnap someone to make experiments? They lost too many people in the process. Look at that over there. Quick, let's go. Uh, that's her. That's Jet. Is she injured? Where the. Well. Guafa. Is there Medur, Tayan, Usda, Tafri, or those people? Uh, are those names? You're here. Sorry, I may have lost my head a little back there. And you start of getting caught as well. That's not important. Are you hurt? Is it serious? Come here. I have something to tell you too. Tell me that you still remember my mother's names. If so, prove it with your surge. Oh, come on, I'm gonna have to fight her? What are you talking about? Tell me, straight in my face, that you aren't despicable traitors, and then prove it. I'm not a traitor. What happened to you? If you're not a traitor, then prove it with your sword. How, how do you prove my sword? Oh, come on, they, why do you make me kill everybody? Stabilize! It was in you who told them about the turtle wall. What? What are you talking about? You don't know anything? I have to babble to me everything. He has me to track you down because you can saw you deal with the Northerners. It was babble all along. She fooled us all. 
time, so show me the squeak. Oh. Jet just come down this level. That will do this to look for you. Okay. The conversation is going. Screw she also told us. Solidify! She told us that you could be colluding with the toy in that uh, run is nice. This is what we're saying. Oh, come on. Why does everybody die? The night is cold. Wind strider. Sometimes but pressure to flee. And then pressure to flee in one of those battles. I don't want to kill her. She'll probably just recover her health. Time to go. Leave the area. Time to go. I don't want to kill her. Yeah, we keep picking Fatui's asses in Eremites and stuff. Hey. They're always fine. They always flee on the battle unharmed. But when somebody we know, we can hold back. Don't be scared. Not now. Mind the deluge. This is order. My guiding stars. Wind strider. Oh, okay, she still have help. Oh, good. Now then, let's talk. I won't hurt you. Please trust me. Whatever. I'm done with this. First was Azeric, and now it's you. Calm down. We're all deceived. He's right. You said that the Matrash asked you to hunt us down because we betrayed the tribe. But you know what? That's the exact same mission she gave us. We didn't believe you'd betray us, so we were trying to find you and figure things out. I didn't betray the tribe, nor do I have any reason to do so. I guess now we do. Matrash Babel has witness, witness on her side. Yuta saw you deal with the Northerners, and Masera saw you moving around their camp. Where's Masera? I need to kill that guy. What? Well, no way. She also told us that you were spotted spot colluding with enemies of the tribe. So, why did they say you betray us? What's going on? Uh, Paimon wishes we knew. Uh, anyway, come down and let, let us explain. If it's Bebel's design to beat us against each other. Will they defend us or the matriarch? Think about it, Jet. Who do you trust more? Urza us or them? Find out, would you, Paimon? This whole thing doesn't make any sense. You finally put your weapons down. Now let's not draw them again, shall we? You gave Paimon quite a fright. Uh, don't be so optimistic, little one. She could still use her blades. Uh, Neron, Reski, why are you here? I can't handle things along here. There's no need for you to pitch in. Uh huh. I can tell you're doing pretty well, Jet. That's why Reski and I are both needed to deal with the two of you. And there's also this little genie. Oh, the little genie. I'm quite fond of her. Let's spare her. Well, the genie isn't saying anything, so I guess this question was only locked after the one. What? Alright. 
Wait, have you... Have you also betrayed the tenant? No, on the contrary. We're here to deal with traitors. I see. Who are they? It's not important. They used to be good people. Nirvan Reski, it was a pleasure being your family. No forgive me. Alright, let's do this. Oh, poor Jet. Can we get her? Let's give her a vision and get her a special character. This way we can take her traveling once. That guy is just over there. The depth back. Fallen leaves adorn my night. Solidify. Cascade. Wind strider. We should have taken this job. Okay, we can properly talk now, yes? <laughs> yeah. Master to Babel sent them. What do you think they would do? You should take a look at this. What? Ah, uh, oh, them. <coughs> yeah, the document said that she was delivered to the Fatu. So she set a trap. Uh, a long ago, and he was just waiting for us to walk right into it. Wait, why didn't you show me this earlier? We would have, but you didn't give us a chance to speak before drawing your weapons. And you wouldn't listen to reason either. Uh, I'm sorry, thank goodness you're alright. Regardless, I have to get to the bottom of this. I need answers from her. Uh, uh, we still have time, you should rest. Yep, yeah, yeah, there's no need to rush it. We can return any time, while Bevel has to wait for us. Almost right, the initiative is on our side now. Uh, you're right, I'm sorry that I didn't trust you. Alright, Jet, show us your wounds already. We will help bandage you up. My wounds? Where? Oh, that's right, they're everywhere. Seriously, though, I can keep going. Don't try to downplay it. Let us have a look. Okay, sorry. Oh, it's not nice that we left me in there. After carefully tainting to Jet's wounds, you'll get some rest with her by the campfire. Though no words are spoken, you both know what must happen next. Let's go, let's find Bevo and have her explain everything to us. You and Jet arrive at the entrance of the canyon, where Matrix Babel happens to be waiting for her subordinates. But I was going to explore there. Uh, there she is, probably waiting for Neyron and Rescue. Were they again? Her assassins, we fought them already. Uh, it's you, Chet. You're back. Yes, we're back. Alive, I'm sorry. It does my heart good to see you return safely. You must be in need of some rest. Come, let me see what I can do. I don't need to rest. I need answers. Why did you lure me into the Northern's trap? Why did you send other members of the tribe to kill me? Why do you want me dead? Calm down. Listen, Jet. Do you remember what I told you? Of how the eternal ways is the tent's hope, and how it will bestow a prosperous homeland upon us. It is exactly for this cause that you pledge your loyalty to me, no? Well, the path is open, isn't it? Now that the door to the oasis is open to the tent, we must keep it a secret from outsiders. We must be sure that this Tenets are and will remain the most beloved children of the Queen of all Queens. Only thus can we guide the other wandering desert tribes together by the oasis. The way they do, just think about it. 
faith will allow us to reunite the scattered peoples to the, of the desert and their resources. Under the guidance of the Queen of All Queens, we will rebuild a nation of oases in this desert with our own two hands. And once that is done, none of us shall ever have to bow to those city you ever again. We will be able to build our own palaces, develop an academic system unique to us. We shall even challenge that god who's not but a Marrakesh bird. Well, she's not anymore. Of all those things that I told you, I have not listened to a single word. And I told you that it was impossible. The Queen of o Oasis is long gone. She's not in the oasis, and there's no way we can resurrect her. Yeah, the path is open, and she hasn't gone there yet to see it. Preposterous. Even my most beloved daughter, how dare you spot such nonsense? Whether she's alive or dead, whether she can or cannot be resurrected, as long as the eternal oasis is under my control, all such things will be mine to decide. I shall be the sole prophetess of the slumbering goddess. The tenet's law shall be divine edict, and the prosperity of the tenet shall be preordinance of her divine oracles. I just realized I think I won't be able to play cards with that guy. Damn. But before all that comes true, Jet, it's not yet too late to repent. You are my most beloved daughter, and I wish to set you back on the right path. I don't understand. What do you mean? I made my point clear. The one and only oracle demands absolute obedience. The only ones who haven't been blinded by the truth of the oasis are you and the and your outsider friend. You said she's saying like it's a bad thing, but. She isn't wording this right. We haven't been blinded. Uh, and this outsider remains the master of the genie. Though the genie herself has long gone silent, not too long. We can gain control over her as long as we get rid of her master. Of the two of us, it is I who respects her ancient wisdom and the power to rebuild the oasis. It is more fitting, therefore, that we gain mastery of over the genie. What was that supposed to mean? You dodged the question last time, and, and that is understandable. But today you must make a choice. Tanit, your home, or this outsider, this friend of yours. Wait, they're saying that you discussed how to get rid of me previously. Yes, but I refused. I mean, come on, you're my friend after all. I'm sorry, my child, but sacrifice is necessary. I shall not let his noble blood be shed in vain. On that you can have absolute faith in me. As for you, Jet, you will become my successor. And one day you will be the tenth new matriarch in Nabu Malyankata's uh, prophetess. Please consider my offer. The future of our tribe lies in your hands, my daughter. Merely ask it of me and I will give you time and one more chance. There's no need, I've made up my mind. Uh, you should know one more time. The situation's like super tense. Be Bevel, I appreciate your help all throughout this time. Though so I'm well aware of the fact that I'm the daughter of a traitor and an outsider. I couldn't be more grateful for your arrangements. The things that I've done for you, the voice of silence for you, the elders who disappeared, Elder Blenda, the one who liked crocodiles, surely remember him. He treated you like his daughter, and he doted on me as well. That's why I could plunge. Uh, that's why I could plunge a poison dagger into his chest. Elder Guafa was such a nice sword to you, and you were that to him too. And sadly, it was me in the end 
with a Sumter Beast's jawbone. Again and again and again and again. That was the first time I had ever been scared to tears. I was so afraid of myself. I still remember how you wiped my tears away. What are you saying? How could that be? Wait, why are you bringing that up? This up? Why do you have to bring this up in front of them? Uh, and there was also Elder Thea. She was young and beautiful. She was an elder, but she was young and beautiful. And she was the head of the hunting party. A more capable competitor than you. She thought I adored her, but I was loyal to you, for I believed that you alone were my true family. I believed that you could wipe my tears away once more and give me a home. So I made her disappear in the desert. And what is the point of this meaningless talk? You are the sole oracle of the goddess, and my mother, why should there be any secrets between us? If you wish to hear more, I can spell every one of my deeds out to you. And to all of the tenants, everything I've done for you, my mother, and for this family. I've done enough, and I'm fed up with it. I won't betray you, miss. You're mad? How dare you slander me, your matriarch? You've forgotten your mother's name. Silence. I bid you the silence now. Be silent now, before it is too late. My mother's name is Ophira. Ophira Hindi. Uh, she was an honest person. Ah, so it was true then. The traitor's daughter could never be anything but a half-grown mongrel, just like her father. Jabrael and that outsider woman have already paid the price for the unforgivable things they did, and now their daughter repeats their errors. I should have seen that coming. Ophira Hindi, that's her name, and it will be mine as well. Traitor, all my teachings were for nothing. May the desert mark your treachery. Enough. My king, you know what to do. She has angered and saddened me. Uh, hold on, don't get so worked up. Didn't you just say that she jettis your daughter? Besides, Ignus helped you so many times. Anyway, there's still gotta be a way to come to understand you, right? Time <laughs> hide yourself. Keep your eyes closed, and don't dirty your white clothes. Order guide you! Gather! Stars, shine for me! Tonight is... Kamisato up! Suyu! As one with wind and cloud! I will have order. Oh, we did I, uh, No, she had yeah. She got away. Oh, time to go. Wind strider. Be still. You won this one. Oh, we're killing everybody. Oh, we're Jack is alone, I think. This time we're actually killing. Uh, she's just there. Solidify! Time to go. Fallen leaves adorn my knights. Order guide you. Wind strider. Cold, mind to command. The night is. Yeah, mind the day. I won't be able to be still. Big cards to that guy. Well, there's a small chance maybe Jet will become the main charge. 
But at least so many people, I, I don't think so. Uh, no, that's good. No. I don't know. Come on, man. I, I have to play cards with you. My guiding stars. Be still. Uh, there's a guy down there. Okay, I guess just for now. As one with wind and clouds following on. Order guide you. Stabilize. Attempt back. Don't be scared. Wind strike. Just exterminated them. Look upon us, the tenants ruined by a single traitor. My tribe, my king, my eternal oasis. Say goodbye to them, while you still have time for some final words. Why, I once loved you so much, why did you betray me, the tenant? Why, because you're evil and I'm not. I see no reason why I must explain myself to you. Alright, Bevo, let me tell you. It's because he is my best friend. You wanted to get rid of him, but I refused to be part of it. And so you decided to get rid of me too. Now, you are more despicable than that. You wanted to pit us against each other. Only then did I realize that you are no prophetess. Nor do you deserve to be favored by the queen of all oases. You're just a despicable schemer. You're the foolish one, an outsider. You did all this for an outsider. I, we are your real fa family. You've destroyed everything. You destroy the hopes of the tenants, the hopes of all the tribes who wander. I miss the good sense. Stop begging yourself up. I just push your tiny sand dune over, that's all. Really, I'm the one with the questions here. What kind of mother would force her daughter to kill her friend anyway? Answer me. Some family you are. You try to take my life. I mistake your idiotic dream of being a prophetess. Well, someone might fulfill it in your stead, but I'm sure they'll keep their hands cleaner than you did. Great, so we'll get more jets in the future. Uh, but I've already seen scouts to form all the traps of your betrayal. Ooh. Damn. Ah, but come on, the traps are always fighting each other. Why the, the tennis wasn't in power yet? So, uh, soon you'll be known. That you are a traitor who's, who turns her family's name all across the vast desert very soon. No one will ever accept you again. Never again. You will find a safe. Never again will find a safe place to lay your head. When did you do that? <laughs> right before you came back. So you've always wanted us dead then. But you say before that you want to give me a chance to repent. Was that also a lie? I thought you softened. I, you make it easier to get rid of you. You disgust me, all of you. You and the group reached the entrance to the canyon, and Jess has sorted out her feelings. The group. It's just her and Paimon.
Sorry, I don't know what to say. We didn't know it would turn out like this. And now there's no place for me to in the desert either. Oh, they don't have your picture, you can just say you have another name. The news will spread quickly along the trade routes and soon. Well, But I still have you too. Can I, I can still trust you, can't I? Uh, I can always trust this chat. I know, it's just that I'm left with nowhere to return to again. But put another way, you're now free to call anywhere you wish home. So you were me back then? I'd have thought that you were mocking me, but you're right. Uh, you're right, now I'm the head of my own house. I'm no longer a servant bound by the name Tanit. Now I'm the master of the name Chet. I proclaim my mother's name, I'm free. Perhaps Chet will also become the name of new clan someday. Maybe, I don't know. My mother's name gives me pride, and my father's name also holds many memories for me. As long as I remember them, even in this barren desert, will that not be the home I was seeking all along? Now, home need not be a cause of anxiety for you. Thank you. You know what? Actually, I'd love to go on more adventures with you. Uh, never mind that. You must have had enough of me after all the dangerous situations I put you in. But I can tell that you have your own journey ahead. A travel of, great, of greater solitude and far grander objective, both of which are beyond what I can bear to ima or imagine. As for me, I've also set myself on a certain path. You've seen it already. It's not going to be a peaceful one, and I won't drag you down with me. Come on, Judge, you're not dragging us down or anything. Anyway, if you ever feel tired or wanna want to take a breather, I believe that our paths will converge one day. At that time, I might even invite you to go on a crazy adventure with me again. Now, I've done enough talking. It's time to leave. There is nothing left here but a hard work. You hug Jet before parting ways with her in the desert. She holds it tightly and you notice that she seems to be holding back sobs. However, she quickly draws back and rubs her wet eyes before she uses she closes her. she has the thing in front of her eyes. She rubs her wet eyes before smiling broadly at you once more. May we meet again under a lovelier sun, she says. Jared turns away and leaves. You see Benben only now emerging out of the wind camp. Hurry to catch up with Jet. And I guess I can't play cards with that guy anymore. Damn, yeah, didn't expect it's true. Kill everybody around here. <laughs> oh, trust for notification. This wasn't here before. Come on, where's the thing that I just got? Ah, uh, come on. Oh, no, I don't remember what that was. Come on, I didn't pay attention. What was the shape? I thought I would open. Damn. No. 
It is in here. Ah, I got that. No, but I can't read that. But I can't read all this stuff. Now, Mr. Ski helped by the metric of the tank shrine. You should be able to open a certain door somewhere. Ah, oh, yes, there was a door down there. Yeah, but there was a, a note to get it. It didn't show up there. Uh, are you guys okay with me? Time to go. Oh, good. You're still peaceful. Uh -huh. Ooh. Brings a smile to my face. Just money. Oh, come on, just money. Just money, I feel. Yeah, I'm not useless. I have people going out on expeditions for money every day. Oh well. Select the ones up there. Piece of literature. Azariku wanted me that as well. Maybe she should have sided with him uh, against Bamu. Yeah. Time to go. Well, I'm pissed I lost that guy. Maybe there were even more people here I could play cards with. <laughs> Mercy's letter. What's this here? What is it? I catch no longer seeing Popo in the city, seeing some change of management. I think I read this one. I don't know if I read it slide, but I think I read this. Now I need to find the manner in which we might give the latest version of the game. Okay. Damn. I mean, we're always killing the churros around, but this is the first time we actually caused a genocide, isn't it? Well, ten days. Okay, I've got time to start this one next week. I'm off today. 